Family of a Dayton homicide victim asking for your help tonight. Jeff Lewis was killed last month, but still no arrests have been made. Megan O'Rourke joins us with how you can help bring his killer to justice. Lewis's brothers tell me the holidays have been especially difficult, but they're hoping with the new year will come some new leads in the homicide investigation. For Pete Lewis, looking at pictures of his younger brother Jeff is difficult. The 54 year old was found dead inside his England Avenue home on November 17th. And Pete says he's haunted by the unknown. I think about it a lot. I sit up and imagine how it could have happened or, you know, why. But I ain't got no answers myself, you know, because he wasn't that type of person. Jeff was a maintenance worker and had a close group of friends. But detectives say there were no signs of forced entry into his home. So they question if Jeff may have known his killer. Yeah, it could have been someone he knew or somebody had knocked on the door that he had let in. Uh, we're not really sure as to the details right now. But investigators are confident someone knows exactly what happened and who's responsible. And very rarely does a killer ever keep everything to themselves. So sometimes it's a girlfriend, it could be a family member, it could be a friend, or it could even been somebody who was innocently involved and didn't know what was going on. Regardless of who comes forward, it's the information police and family need most. Not only so justice can be served, but also so Jeff's brother can finally rest. I make me sleep better, I guess. For our family, you know, for us to get some closure or whatever, you know, just... You know, for me, turn yourself in and stuff. That's what I feel. Now, if you have any information that could help catch the killer, call Crime Stoppers. That number is 222-7867. I'm Megan O'Rourke, 2 News, working for you.